It's a splendid thing to exist sometimes. In this video, I'll summarize and analyze Knut Hamsun's masterpiece, Hunger, and tell you 10 things you should know about it. Knut Hamsun won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1920. Norwegians loved his writing but hated his support for the Nazi Germany. Thomas Mann and Charles Bukowski loved his psychological writing style, focusing on the interior monologues or stream of consciousness, which also influenced Proust, Joyce, and Virginia Woolf. Hamsun, like Nietzsche, disliked modernity in favor of rural life. His protagonists were mostly social outcasts. Hunger, or the Norwegian title Salt, was published in 1890 and translated in English in 1899. It is often called the first modern novel. Okay, this novel is set in Christiania, an old name for Oslo. The unnamed protagonist is a struggling writer, unable to pay his rent or buy food. He kind of sleepwalks from park bench to park bench, from prison to his work. He's not in control of his life. Once he's so hungry, he chews on his fingers, and worse still, almost eats his own pencil, the very tool that allows him to be a writer. But he always refuses to take money when someone offers him. In the same way, Beator, an independence people by laxiness, refuses to be in debt to other people. One time, he sees a girl waiting outside his room. He asks her to take off her veil so he can see her face, but she refuses. Later, they meet again, but they are back and forth and nothing happens. Then, one day, he is kicked out of his lodging for interfering with the family's affairs. At the end, he volunteers to be a crew on a boat heading to England. We don't know whether he gets to England or is still drifting at seas. Quote, the dark monsters out there would suck me up when night came on, and they would carry me far across the sea and through strange lands where no humans live. Ultimately, he was dreaming of getting away from humans and modernity. Now I'll tell you 10 things about the novel. 1. Dostoevsky It's very similar to Dostoevsky's Crime Punishment. Like Raskolnikov, our hero avoids his landlady for unpaid rent. Later, as he wanders the street, homeless, he meets a man who greets him with a raised axe, which is funny but also reminds you of Raskolnikov carrying one to kill the woman. Despite his poverty, he has big plans to write a philosophical book. Raskolnikov too had grand plans, but our protagonist likes to be morally good, rational and sensible. I think Knud Humson wanted to tell that being morally upright leads one to insanity in modern world. 2. Here and Now It is considered the first modern novel because in his daily wanderings he notices everything and everyone, as if he's come from a different planet and finds everything interesting. He is in Here and Now, a quote, I was conscious all the time. Despite my alienation from myself at that moment, I was aware of every detail of what was going on around me, end quote. 3. Hunger In society, we often associate artists as hungry people, but in reality, most of the authors and artists in history were well off, or not in the street like our protagonist. But there's also a paradox here. You have to be hungry to want to change things. But too much hunger heightens your mind so sharp that you lose your bearings. A heightened sense of being makes you go insane. You see everything. You notice every minute details. 4. Protest It appears his hunger is self-inflicted. He refuses to get a normal job or even steal food. One time he gets money by mistake and keeps quiet only to confess the next day in a very chivalric way. He is self-destructive to show that being morally good makes you a loser in modern capitalist society. 5. God The absence of God liberates humans and turn them into insanity. Knut Humson thinks God is replaced by machine. The absence of God allowed humans to think big. Big plans, big ideas, big revolutions and sweeping changes. Knut Humson says that this is just a lie that leads us to madness. 6. Comedy The narrator, despite being a loser, he laughs at himself and the world. A funny scene is with a blind man when he starts lying to him and goes on to invent things as the conversation progresses, starting small but growing bigger and bigger. Another time he tries to sell his dirty blanket for three pence but nobody buys it. At some point he puts a pebble into his mouth so he has something to mumble as he watches people in cars on the street. 7. Tool His pencil is a character too, his only tool that guarantees his rent and food. At one point, he almost loses it and then he nearly eats it when hungry but stops himself. His pencil is the only tool that stops him from a complete alienation, as Heidegger might have argued. 8. Joy There are moments of triumph too. For example, when an idea comes to him and he is inspired to write. It is beautiful to see him happy. Or when his love interest, a woman he calls Yelayali, speaks to him or invites him into her room. Joy is always spontaneous in this novel. 9. Emotion versus Reason For thousands of years, we believed in demons and ghosts, now in conspiracy theories or nationalism, mostly based on emotional narrative. Also, if we remain too rational, logical, sensible, we will break down and go insane. The novel is trying to communicate that human mind is mostly irrational. 
10. Storytelling Hamsun is mixing present and past tense in the story, showing the narrator's volatile mind and the presence of past in our lives at present. It is told in four acts. In each act, he does pretty much the same thing. He wanders about and meets random people. Like in our lives, daily speaking, we repeat things at work and at home. I loved reading this novel for its philosophical depth while told in a very humorous way. Life is hard at times, but it can also be splendid if you only learn to laugh at it. Take it easy.